Today I'm going to show you a super quick way on how you can apply texture to multiple designs all in one go using Adobe Illustrator. So I've got nine designs set up in Illustrator right here and my texture file on the side. I'll leave a download link to this file in the description down below, but you could obviously use your own textures as well for this. These sunsets are actually a pack designed by Vexels. I'll leave the link down below in the description to Vexels as well if you want to check them out. So the first step we're going to take is selecting all of our files and heading over to Object, Expand Appearance. Then once again, select all your designs and back to Object, click Expand. So the next thing we need to do is turn our texture file into an actual vector because at the moment it's just a PNG file. And to do that, you just select the texture, hit Image Trace over here, click OK, and then you wait a few seconds until it looks something like this. We want to get rid of the white background, of course, and to do that, you need to head over to the Image Trace panel and tick the ignore white box down there. Now you just need to click expand and we've turned our PNG texture file into an actual vector format. Now we want to go ahead and change the color of this file and this step is very important because it has to be a color that doesn't exist in any of your designs down here. And now you want to move this over your first design just obviously position it so it looks good. Now just copy this across by all dragging and just dropping it and then you can hit Control D to duplicate and then just repeat that process to basically cover all your artboards in the texture. And now we want to select all of these files together with the texture and go over to the Pathfinder window. If you don't see this, go ahead and click Window and tick Pathfinder there. And now you want to hit Divide. Now this will take a few seconds to load, but once it's done, it will have divided all of the shapes from one another. And it's going to enable us to use the direct selection tool to click on one of these green shapes, then go to select, same, fill and stroke color. And now all we need to do is hit delete on the keyboard. And as we can see, it's cut out all of these black bits from our designs. But another step you need to do is go into the outline mode, which is Control Y. And as you can see, it's left a few shapes outside of your designs, which we don't want either. Select, same, fill in stroke, and once again, hit delete your keyboard. And there we go. Now we've got our designs in a clean vector format. The texture has been applied very quickly. You can do this for literally hundreds of designs at the same time. It might take Illustrator a bit longer to apply the actual divide effect from the Pathfinder window, but you're going to save yourself probably hours of applying textures manually to each design. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you might also like this tutorial where I show you how to create a very unique sunset in Adobe Illustrator.